Hiya folks, Martin Butler here again, coming up to Christmas and we're quite busy doing t-shirts at the moment and I thought I'd just take this opportunity to get in more contact with my uh, YouTube viewers and subscribers and I'm able to do that because I've just realised that we've got this new YouTube layout which has got a community tab where you can actually put out some questions or polls or whatever and people can actually comment depending on what questions I'm asking, I can get a sort of a percentage to find out what people actually want, for example. I'm finding this very useful because the comment section's okay on videos, and I spend a lot of time in the comment section of all the different videos, but it seems to have problems where I don't always get an alert come up when a certain question is, is posted. The alerting system at the moment is not very uh, sort of accurate when uh, someone posts a question or a reply to my videos or whatever. So I thought I'd just try out this new community tab on my home channel and uh, you can see a little community tab. I don't know if you can see that. If you've got the new YouTube layout, this is what you'll probably see and it's the community tab and on, on there is where you can see the results of all the people's questions. So I think what happens is, is that when I post a question, I don't know whether people get alerted that there's been a, a question asked or whatever, I don't know. I've not seen that side of it. But anyway, so cut a long story short, what I'm trying to do here is trying to be more interactive with uh, the people who watch the videos. People, see I didn't really know what sort of demographic watches my videos. I know you can get a lot of that from the uh, YouTube analytics, but you can get more in-depth and more accurate analytics when you ask the questions rather than uh, YouTube just uh, provide general analytics like your gender or the location, the demographics or the age bracket of the people watching. You know, you can ask a lot more personal questions and get a more direct response. That's the purpose I'm using this for. So I've actually posted a question online to the, the people who watch my videos and the question I asked, if we just have a look at the community guideline, how many of you are thinking of starting a t-shirt printing business, a mug printing business or already operate one? So, as you can see, the, the questions I'm, I'm looking for, the answers, so to speak, I've put down the answers, thinking of starting a t-shirt biz, thinking of starting a mug press biz, already operate one but interested in starting the other, and the last one is just looking for tips. Well, as you can see, predominantly the largest percentage of people, 49% at the time of me doing this video, are thinking of starting a t-shirt video. 10% are looking at starting a mug press business, 24% actually operate one but are interested in starting the other and 17% are just looking for tips. Right, well that's really interesting for me to find that out because um, it lets me see who is actually going to my channel and what sort of videos they're wanting to view. And the largest percentage of people obviously are thinking of starting a t-shirt biz. Now, you've heard it said many times before that Oh, all the information's free on YouTube, you've only got to look and search. Well, that's all right, but when you're a beginner, you can go into online forums, you can watch as many different YouTube videos as you want on a subject, for example, T-shirt printing, and you're going to see different people operate their business different ways using different materials and different equipment. What they don't tell you in them videos is the possible route to what makes them do what they do now. In other words, their trial and error pathways and their recommendations, what they would do, if they was gonna start the business over again, what, what they would now do. In other words, to cut out all the trial and errors through experience. So when you're watching a video, people aren't really relaying to you their experience of what they've done wrong and what's gone wrong in the past and how they've corrected it, what they've come up against and stuff like that. You as a beginner, just watching someone else's video, are not gonna glean or gain that information from someone. They're just gonna show you pressing an item, for example, with the press of the t-shirt and everything coming out hunky-dory. And that's not always the case, especially right at the very beginning. So that is why I started my t-shirt training DVD, which I created uh, to educate beginners. So it's predominantly aimed at beginners, people who are wanting to start out in uh, uh, that genre, for example, the t-shirt printing or the mug printing business. That's a separate business altogether. And in that video, you will see how we started, how the things I came up against, which you would probably come up against, and also how to overcome them and how to save money, how to uh, set your business up and how we actually operate the business on a day-to-day -day basis and what the things we do. 
Now, someone said to me not so long back that um, uh, they bought my DVD and the equipment in it has changed, and uh, you know the, the stuff I'm using then I no longer use. Well, that happens because throughout your working life, so to speak, equipment wears out. You update equipment and stuff like that, and that's the reason why in my channel is sort of a progression from my training DVDs because the equipment in my DVDs, which I use, as you say, does wear out and it does become redundant and I do upgrade. And that's why on my later videos, in my YouTube videos, you can actually glean information from them of the equipment that I'm using at the time, so to speak. And this is something which is a progression of the actual T-shirt training DVD that I created. And not only that, as I've told you before, with the T-shirt training DVDs that I produced and the mug printing DVDs that I produced, you get my email support where you can ask me questions. So if you're looking for a supplier, for example, for certain equipment, I let you know my suppliers. Sometimes my suppliers have changed over the years. That's why I don't necessarily include where I buy stock from, for example, in my training DVD, because those are the sort of questions that you can ask me personally, and those are the sort of questions which may change. A supplier may fold up, for example, and if I've put it on the DVD, it's a waste of time me having it in there, because I've gone to a different supplier now. But that's information you get from me personally when you actually buy the DVD and commit yourself that you are going to do this and go forward and try and start the business and run it the way we do. Because we've done this now, as you know, for many, many years, over a decade. We have sold literally thousands upon thousands of T-shirts, thousands upon thousands of mugs, hoodies, mouse mats, all that sort of stuff. We predominantly deal with T-shirts and hoodies now and also mugs. The rest is out there. As I say, there's been lots more materials that you can print on now, like tiles, uh, aprons, all sorts of stuff, tote bags, any, all different things, little pieces of jewellery, uh, coasters, all sorts of stuff. Not stuff that we actually get involved in, although we have got the equipment to do it if we wanted to. We specialise in black and white t-shirts. We keep it simple. We specialise in mugs. We've dropped the mouse mats and we also do hoodies, although we only do them to order. We sell a lot of hoodies. We sell a lot of hoodies to repeat customers, mostly for clubs and stuff like that. So our predominantly colour t-shirts are black and white, although we will do every single colour that our supplier makes. And that would be a customer phoning us up and saying we want 60 or 50 red t-shirts, for example, and then we'd order them in as a special thing, which we do. One of the most frustrating things I tend to get is that people say, oh, you know, I'm not gonna buy a DVD because all the information is on the internet and also I've seen your information on all your videos. Most of this sort of stuff comes from either people who are just wanting something for nothing and not really wanting to commit themselves to a business because they believe that you can get everything off the internet for free. That doesn't work because you don't get personal help. You'll end up as one of these people with all the gear, you can get all the gear and have no idea. You must have heard that phrase, having all the gear and no idea. So many people who just search the internet, try that. I tried that at the very beginning and I was in the same situation where I wasted so much money, but I didn't give up. I persevered and I just went in that direction and started one thing at a time. And that's where you should be. But I didn't have the person to ask questions to. So that's where you've got me if you decide to uh, take on one of my training DVDs. Right, anyway, so using this community Thing now because one of the things that does tend to annoy me one is when some when I've put in a video I'm very careful with what I say in a video where I'm giving you information and one of the things that bugs me is when you see down in the comment section people asking the same questions over and over again when all they've got to do is watch a different DVD and I try to title my DVD so that you can easily find the content what's in the DVD by going what the top the, uh, the the title of the video is about now I try my best to do that but people don't bother watching a complete video they, they'll miss bits out and then they'll ask the question which I've already covered either in another video or even in the video above the comment section so that's quite a, a thing so I don't like to repeat myself and that's one of the answers that I always try to give people where if they're asking me questions and they're inquisitive about starting the business get the DVD get my DVD because then you can email me personally and once you watch the DVD, you'll see a lot of the information that you really need to know that I've repeated over and over again in comment sections. But I can understand it can take ages and ages to go through comment sections, watch complete videos, although some people have watched 
all the videos on my channel, but some people are impatient. So just get the DVD and then watch the DVD. Everything you need is on the, tra on the training DVD. And the stuff that isn't on there, for example, like the equipment I'm using now, and also uh, suppliers and stuff like that, I will give you that information in a one-to-one -one when you contact me, if you want to take this further. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's have a look at these questions of the uh, poll which I've had from some people, and let's try and answer some people's questions directly on this little question and answer session from the uh, community polls. Let's have a look at the questions. Right, well, our first question comes from James Howarth. He's thinking of starting a T-shirt biz, and he says, Hi, Martin, I brought a Stoles Max press, which is a heat press, in the USA, but no one is ordering on eBay. I'm presuming no one's ordering his stuff on eBay. I've priced them super cheap, and they are onesies. Right, well, as you can probably see there, it's all about niche selection, I've told him, and never drop your prices to get sales. So let's try and elaborate on that one more time. Again, it's not a really full question, but this is the sort of thing that, that I have to deal with where people don't give me the full information. And it's very hard to do that in the comment section, so I can understand that. Now, he says he's bought a, a Styles Max heat press now, in my opinion, the Stoles Max Heat Press is a very good entry-level press. It's got, uh, it's made by a very reputable supplier, Stoles. I had one for nine years, very, very good, and I do recommend Stoles presses. The Stoles Max Press, everyone I've spoke to who have got one have been happy with it. So yes, you've got a good press there. Now, as far as no one is ordering on eBay, this is a whole different myriad of thing because you've got to realize that when you go into business, this isn't no light, business in the box everything's going to work out of watching one dvd and buying all the right equipment because that then you fall into the category of having all the gear with no idea and that's what most people do you need to understand that when you learn you've got to learn how to do and create these garments for example so learning how to operate the software learning how to operate the uh, different pieces of kit that you've got the heat press or the the mug press the printer the, the software to create images if you don't want to go down that road know where to find images or know how to create images there's a whole stuff you have to learn so this is why i always say at the beginning start it as a hobby don't put no pressure on yourself trying to make money straight away don't say to yourself i'm going to leave work within three months once i've bought all this gear and then find out once you've learned how to use the equipment you haven't got any idea on how to market stuff or how to find niches or target niches so this looks like the problem james has uh, found himself in and he's also said that he has priced them super cheap and that he's selling onesies. Well, one thing you never do is price them super cheap because you're not going to make any money. You're in this to make money and you also want to enjoy what you're doing as well. That's the reason why you're going in the, in the business. Not wholly and solely to make money. One, you've got to enjoy the process. Know that you, you're going to be learning a skill that you can operate from home and work from home. And you're following someone, for example, like me, who's done this for over a decade. And I've operated from home and I'm giving you an insight as to what we do as you see in my youtube videos and also my training dvd onesies i don't really know about the onesie market uh easily talking about baby onesies adult onesies i don't know i've never seen blanks for adults to be honest with you i've seen baby onesies so i'm presuming he's talking about baby onesies again it's a chosen niche and uh, there's way you've got to know that there isn't a market for onesies apart from mothers who are looking for baby onesies there are different niches out there and you can target all these different niches by putting an image relating to that niche on the onesie. But then that's all to do with marketing and how to find niches. So anyway, basically what I'm saying there is, James, if you learned how to use all your equipment, you're happy with doing that, the next stage of your training is going to be how to find niches to exploit. So another thing that's not covered in the DVD because that is a totally different lesson. And I cover that sort of thing in my UK Net Marketing School membership site, which is £25 a year. And in there, again, is a host of training videos, nothing to do with t-shirt printing, nothing to do with mug printing. It's other ways in which I make money online and how I buy and sell stuff and ways that I've used to make money working from home. But in there is also how I find niches videos tutorials and also the auction reaper tutorials, which is how to use eBay as your niche hunting tool. There's some tools in eBay which you can use and I share that in video form in the UK Mar Internet Marketing School website, which is my subscription website, which is once you sign up for £25, you get full access to the year, you'll get an automatic e uh, password, 
uh, a username and password which you create, email sent to you, and then you can access the membership site on the on the website there. A lot of people don't realise that it's a, it's a subscription, which is an annual £25 subscription. All I ask, if you only want to use the videos for one year, uh, I can't cancel your subscription because you set the subscription up in your own PayPal account. So after you've watched the videos and you want to carry on seeing them for a year, just cancel the subscription and you've still got access for the whole year uh, of the videos. And £25 allows you, don't forget to contact me on a one-to-one -one basis and ask questions as well. So don't forget that. You've got a one-to-one -one with someone who's willing to help you and that's why I do all my videos as well. Right, okay, so let's have a look at um, Amir Patil, I think that is. He's thinking of starting a t-shirt business. He says, hey Martin, good morning from India. Please make some more videos on the Flex Soft Transfer Papers. Right, well those of you who have watched my channel, you realise that I was looking into these different transfer papers. I predominantly use transfer paper with an inkjet printer and all my system has been set up and geared for using inkjet printing for the past 12 years. But as you know, things move on and I'll try out different things because I'm able to do that. In other words, I was trying out these Forever Flex uh, tr tr transfer papers again and these ones are laser printer and I was lucky enough to be in possession of a couple of laser printers and um, so I did a few tests on them. Now I actually went down to a, a company in the UK who sell them their transfer papers and I, I had a training course with them and to be honest with you, they're very, very temperamental, especially for beginners. They're twice the price of the transfer paper system that I've got, and it would also mean you buying a very expensive laser printer. If you want to use full color, which includes white, you've got to buy a, a printer they recommend, which is in the thousands of pounds bracket. Whereas something like what we do here with our inkjet transfer papers, and the ones I've been using for years and years, you can get away with using your own personal inkjet printer, what you use for your house, I've just included a CIS system, which is a bulk ink system, and put a waste ink tank on my one. So I'm using that sort of commercially, so to speak. And that's the best way to start off as a beginner. Yes, the Forever Flex paper seems to be very good, but they're very, very temperamental, and you've got to be using some very expensive gear to get consistent results. I never achieve consistent results with them, and I'm pretty good at what I do. I know my stuff, I've been in this business for years. I didn't have the thousands of pounds of the laser printer. I did have a laser printer that dealt with colors and whites. That was problem giving me problems accepting the papers and also it is a very hit and miss technique with regards to peeling the, the release paper off and leaving all of the transfer paper on the garment. There are bits that can be missing if you ain't got everything absolutely correct. I won't be doing any more of them at the moment because I try to show beginners the best things and in my eyes these papers aren't for beginners. You've got to invest a lot of money to be able to get the consistent results and also have a consistent way of applying that, not for beginners. So I won't be doing any more on them because I've not heard no more back from the company as well. Anyway, that's that one. Right, then we've got Laura, Laura too. She's also thinking of starting a t-shirt biz. And she says, I'm making a few t-shirts here and there, ordering sublimation transfers to press. So it looks to me like she's using sublimation on t-shirts. Well, I don't really do that, but that's another story. Let me go on and read what she's saying. I really want to know what I need to print my own transfers and what software, etc. I need to make this work. Also want transfers that will work on dark fabrics. Right now, I only have access to light color transfers. I would love to know how you do both and be able to print my own, plus get better with vinyl. Right, so it looks like she's gone down the sublimation route for t-shirt transfer. Sublimation route on transfers is very, very expensive, and also you can't sublimate onto dark t-shirts. Whether I don't know whether you know that, uh, Laura. So that is the whole purpose why I use uh, a light t-shirt transfer and a dark t-shirt transfer for an inkjet printer. And I explain all this in my training DVD. So if you're unsure which way to go, you really need to be getting my t-shirt DVD going through that, and that explains why I don't use sublimation on t-shirts, and also uh, why the t-shirts the that I use and the transfers that I use are the best way to start up for a beginner. And don't forget, I'm using the same system now as what I was using 12 years ago, and we're still selling those t-shirts. So get the training DVD. 
Right, okay, then we got uh, we got Nadge Anderson thinking of t- starting a t-shirt biz. She just got a three in one press, made a few test t-shirts, and looking to try out mugs soon. Right, well, again, if you would have got my training DVD, you'd also know that I don't uh, recommend people buy these multi presses. There's a glut of them on eBay, and a lot of them are just very, very cheap, and they will not cut the mustard in you operating a professional business. You don't want these multiple presses. They don't tend to heat up correctly, and they will give you problems. Only one person I've spoke to has said that they've not experienced any problems with it, but they are only doing little items. They're not using the T-shirt press full plant, and they're doing little things in the middle, like baby bibs, I think it was. The problem comes when you've got a multiple mug press that will do a mug press and a heat press where you take the uh, mug press plate off, then you put the T-shirt plan turn on. These things don't heat up evenly, and when you're using a big adult T-shirt, that's when you're gonna get your problems. The T-shirt press I had at the time was able to do the mouse mats, and as soon as I went to T-shirts and covered the big plant turn, none of my transfers worked. I tried many different transfers. Problem wasn't the transfer paper, the problem was the heat press. And that's predominantly what happens with those three-in-one presses or whatever. Don't bother getting them. And she said she's done a few test t-shirts, but she's thinking of trying mugs mugs out soon. Well, all I would say there is, is that don't get, again, fall into the category of getting all the gear and having no idea. Concentrate on your t-shirts first, get that working correctly. Once you've got that working correctly, then move on to the mugs. It's very easy for people to get all the gear, start on one system, I've seen this so many times, where they start on one system, they have a few problems, I'll leave that, and then they go up to something else try the mugs, uh, or vice versa. Do the mugs, start with that. Can't get that right, because they've not watched the training DVD, they've not followed my system, what we use, and they've listened to other people. Then they go down all different avenues of what other people are saying. Oh no, you want to be using this thing with that printer and all that. And before you know it, they've given up on the mugs and they, they've tried the t-shirts. I know a few people who've done that, all because they're not following what's on the DVD. So yeah, don't bother with the mugs at the moment. Get your heat pressing right. You say you've tried a few little items, try your main thing, which is T-shirts. See if you can get them coming out right using the transfer papers that I recommend. And I don't share them on the YouTube channel because I give away so much free information on the YouTube channel. You know, it's something that I only share with those people who are really interested and want my help. And I share that, as I say, in the training DVD. Right, and then we've got um, Doug's Den. And he operates uh, a T-shirt printing business, I think and he wants, he's interested in starting another. Been doing t-shirts for over two years now. Hoodies, sweaters, and baby vests also. Not got long into vehicle decals, or decals, whatever way you want to say it, which is much more profitable and less time consuming. Moving on to a bit of sign writing as well now. eBay is a pain in the backside. They also rob you blind. Just opened my online shop, which is linked to a Facebook page, and I plan on ramping things up Big time on there. Well, that's good to know that he's been doing t-shirts for two years and now he's moved on to decals as well. Uh, and these is, again, once you've got the gear, there's many other genres you can go into, as I say. With, with the Cameo cutter, which I use, you can cut decals, you can cut stencils out on them, you can cut uh, sign writing for window stickers, you can cut the t-shirt graphics, you can cut uh, many other different things. Craft Crafters use use the uh, thing for cutting cardboard or card intricate cards. You know, you get these pop-up cards. Scrapbookers and people like that use the Silhouette Cameo. But uh, as I say, there's other things you can do. He's now found another way of uh, making money. He's happier doing that. Some people are, that's fine, that's not a problem. So car-related stickers, uh, window stickers, all stuff like that. I've made signs myself. As you know, I made a sign for my daughter's uh, hairdressing salon using that exact same piece of uh, equipment there. So yeah, loads of other things, Doug. Good to see you've been going for a couple of years now and treat it as a hobby as you probably do and just tick along and if, if you do want to expand in a certain way, he's talking about ramping up on Facebook. Facebook's a very, very good place. We get a lot of trade off of Facebook. You don't have to advertise on Facebook really. You, you know, if you go into certain groups or you start off locally, you find local groups around you. We get loads of emails from people on Facebook wanting personalised t-shirts as well as clubs and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, Facebook, very good place. eBay can be expensive and you've got to be very careful. eBay's a good place for finding niches. We, we use eBay a lot for searching niches, but I'll share that, as I said to you, in the membership club. 
Dave Blue here, he already operates one but interested in starting another. Three months ago I started my t-shirt business with the help of your tutorials. I learned a lot from them, thank you Martin. Well that's no problem Dave, that's good to see. We've also got Kenny McCunga, thinking of starting a t-shirt biz. Thanks for the heads up on the heat press, I was planning to purchase a 3-in-1. Well I think he might have uh, watched one of my videos, saw that information, I don't recommend them. And he's gleaned that little piece of information from one of my YouTube videos. Saved him some money. We got Kelly Farris. Already operate one, but interested in starting another. Good morning, Martin. My press wasn't good with the shirts, but I am receiving a good one for Christmas. Mugs have been successful, though. Well, she's obviously been selling mugs. Good, well, good on you, Kelly. And uh, she's now trying the T-shirts. But like I say, if she would have got my T-shirt press DVD, she would have probably seen or known how to check because I, I do state that I started off with a rubbish press to start off with. And I've got a YouTube video out there called Heat Press is what you need to know. If you look through my playlist on t-shirt printing, you'll find that one on how to check and what you need to know about heat presses. Very interesting. All you need is a laser thermometer. Right, we've got Jose Luis Ramirez there. Thinking of starting a mug press biz. Hey Martin, what's your favorite current presser and printer? I'm thinking on getting started as a hobby yet i still want quality but i don't mind paying for it well jose there i don't know what country you're in jose but um all i would say was is that what i'm using at the moment is a, a galaxy what you call a galaxy mug press pro there's not many branded presses out there i don't know what country you're in or what's available to you all i would suggest there is go to a supplier in your country of uh, sublimation mug presses for example and ask them personally that they if they have a quality or what what quality mug press to recommend because that will depend on where you are in the world we're in the UK here and uh, I've been using this press now for a good few years when I first started there wasn't many presses about 12 years ago on the uh, sublimation mug presses there's a lot more of them now. I was lucky. I bought a crap one, basically, and it worked well. I was lucky. I bought another one six months later because we wanted to upgrade because we was doing loads and loads of mugs and we wanted to have two going at the same time. So I bought what I thought was the same one, an unbranded press, and that one blew up, literally blew up when Sharon turned it on one day after six months. So we got lucky. But cut a long story short, over the last few years, we've been using the Mug Press Pro, and uh, again, there's two versions of that. If you check out my mug playlist, you'll see the one that I'm actually using. Although they've updated the software on it now, where the timing's all different. They've changed the little circuit board inside it. I don't know whether you can get that in your country, but as I say, do contact a, a local supplier. And I don't mean eBay, because the trouble with people on eBay, if, if you're going to eBay to buy stuff like that, they, they could be just importing stuff. You want someone who's a reputable seller, and who may have sold loads and loads of stuff, and that you can contact them. And they've normally got a website and they sell stuff from a website where you can contact them via a customer helpline and ask them personal questions. That's what I would suggest. And I would say the same for someone wanting a, a heat press in a different country as well. So do that first. All right, Terry W, she's thinking of starting a mug press biz. Now I know for a fact I've been dealing with Terry recently and uh, uh, I think Terry's in the US. I'm not too sure if I remember rightly, but Terry's just bought a cameo and also a, a, a t-shirt printer at the moment. And she's having a little bit of problems with her name, what software to use or whatever. So she's basically starting now. She's already thinking about going into the mug printing business. All I'd say to you, Terry, is now, I've sent you a couple of emails, as you know. Uh, just concentrate on one thing, first of all. Do what I show you in the tutorials. And as you know, it, the uh, cutter that I use in, in the a tutorial DVD is a Craft Robo. I now use a, a Cameo Silhouette. It's made by the same company, but different software outlook, and it's also A3 instead of A4. And if you want any updates as to the cutter and what I, how I use the cutter, I'm no expert on the Silhouette Cameo cutter, but I know how to use what I need it for. As I say, it does many, many different things, but I show you. And also, they've also just uprated the software as well, where the layout's totally different. So that's why it's not really good for me to do tutorials on uh, the, the Cameo silhouette solely on that. All I show you is how I operate it and how I use it at any given point in time because they, as I said to you, they've just uprated the software and it, the, the whole layout of things is changed on the computer screen when you're looking at it. So for updated information on what I'm doing, 
do watch my YouTube channel and when things change, you'll find updates on there, obviously, of what I'm using. So all I'll say there, Terry, is, is just carry on with your T-shirts, get, get that working and go and th then think about the mugs, otherwise you're just wasting money. So do that first. Right, what we got here? Uh, Jezarm Extreme Body Fitness. Thinking of starting a t-shirt biz. I have a Styles Mac Press and a Cameo Silhouette Cutter and I was making t-shirts personally, but wouldn't mind starting a small business. How would I go about this? Right, well it looks like you've got the gear and you've actually been starting to making t-shirts, so you're obviously familiar with that. What you need to do is then find out how to exploit niches and how to market yourself. Now for that sort of thing, you won't get that information on the DVD and it don't look like you need the DVD because you're already doing this sort of stuff. I'd recommend you go in the, uh, to my membership site on the, at the UK Internet Marketing School .com website. Sign up for that, £25 for a year. Uh, and as I say, cancel it if you want afterwards, if you don't want it to run for concurrent years. And you'll have access to my tutorials on how I find niches and how to niche hunt, stuff like that. Check the Auction Reaper videos in there as well. You, they're in there for free. I do sell the Auction Reaper as a DVD, but you can get that in the... Uh, uh, membership site for nothing as well that also shows you how to niche hunt and find niches very interesting that's where you need to be if you want to take it, your hobby a little bit further as a business learn marketing skills and learn how to niche hunt that's what I do in that the uh, uh, membership site right Edwanda Kofa I operate already operate one but I'm interested in starting another I've tried various print and transfer paper but just can't seem to get this thing right I do very well with glitter and vinyl, etc. But the multimedia image, in other words, a full color image, I need to use heat transfer paper. And obviously this person's struggling. And uh, yeah, well, get the training DVD and I'll share with you what I use and show you what I've used for the last 12 years. Also in my playlist on YouTube, I'll give an example of the longevity of the transfer papers that I used. I've got t-shirts on there which I've had for five, six years that have been through the wash many, many different times for the light t-shirts. And I've also got transfer papers that I've done for dark t-shirt transfer. All I will say is dark t-shirt transfer technology is not as good as light t-shirt transfer technology. But I do sh share with you in the, in the DVD, the training DVD, uh, what papers I use. And go to YouTube, watch my videos in the t-shirt training playlist, and you'll see the transfer papers I use, although I don't share the name of them in the playlist. The Magician, thinking of starting a t-shirt biz. Hi Martin, I'm planning on getting a Cameo Free, a heat press, a few shirts and vinyls for personalised shirt. I may consider making one for friends and eventually sell. I have little knowledge about Illustrator. What other materials am I missing? Thank you, I'm from the Philippines. Right, well, we don't always ship to places like the Philippines or or far, the Far East or whatever. So that's why we've also got the Udemy. The, my, my video, my training tutorials are on Udemy.com. And I'll leave all links to these things down in, this, in the description below this video on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, the description below, you, it says show more. Click on that and it will drop. you'll see all the links to... Not only the training DVD, the mug printing DVD, the t-shirt training DVD, the uh, membership site sign up for £25, or you can go to Udemy through the links in the description and get the videos online and pay from that way, and you get them instantaneously uh, where you can watch them online. So there's the other two ways I'm doing it. I'll suggest you watch the training DVDs on Udemy because shipping to the Philippines, we've done that before and they've not reached there. So watch them online, that's your, probably your best bet. And the last one is Leslie Barrett. She's thinking of starting a t-shirt biz. I would actually like to start a t-shirt and a mug printing biz, but it only let me choose one. Well, I don't quite understand that. It only let me, I don't know what only lets you choose one, I don't know. Is it the husband, is it the wife, is it your finances, I don't know. But whatever one you do choose, check out the training DVDs in the description below and You'll have my personal help to get you going because you'll be able to email me personally. Anyway, I'm quite happy with it. It's quite good doing a question and answer. I'll do this uh, maybe once a month, for example, So, and then you can leave your comments below that and ask me a question there, and I'll bring them up like I've done in this uh, video as well. They're a little bit longer, these videos, but hopefully you'll get a bit more of a one-to-one -one sort of thing, and I can connect a lot more with 
uh, you because I could talk on a one-to-one -one basis, so to speak, and answer your questions in more detail than typing them out in a question because it does take me forever in a day typing comments out, whereas I can say things a lot quicker. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video and we'll see you anyway in the next video. And until then, bye for now.